Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest live at Hard Justice. It is for the TNA X Division Championship. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing the first of challenger from Atlanta, Georgia. Consequences, We have watched this young man's career absolutely skyrocket in recent weeks here in TNA. The big win. Many people calling it an upset, the non-title matchup where he defeated Maple Leaf Muscle, P.D. Williams, opened up the eyes of many people, including Jim Cornette. Well, this man proves that it doesn't take years if you work hard enough. This is his shot tonight for glory. His opponent, accompanied to the ring by Rocka Khan from Windsor, Ontario, Canada. He is the TNA X Division Champion, Maple Leaf Muscle, Pete Williams. No question when you break it down. You look at the strong points of both champion and challenger, you realize that Petey Williams has been in so many more high-profile matches than his opponent, Consequences Free. And you know, a lot of you may think that, well, since Scott Steiner's not at his side, that it puts him at a disadvantage. I don't believe that for a minute. I believe he did his job. This guy is so prepared. And one thing about it, he knows he's defending his title tonight. He knows a lot of people are looking at Consequences Free as maybe a favorite, maybe to upset him. Also, keep your eyes on Raka Khan. One thing we know about her, she'll try to figure out a way to manipulate herself in this match. Anything if she sees that Petey Williams is in trouble. Petey Williams, two-time X Division champion. He has held the title belt since the month of April when he defeated Black Machismo Jay Lethal. And there you see the gold held high ahead by referee Slick Johnson. The X Division championship belt goes to the winner of our opening match tonight at Hard Justice here in Trenton, New Jersey. One thing we know, Consequences Creed, the confidence level is high. He knows he can do it, he's done it before. But what he's got to do is to make sure he doesn't get too confident. Don't let those emotions take over. Petey Williams has been there, done that. He knows how to gauge himself in a match like this. He knows that there's going to be times when you're going to be on the downside. You've just got to play through that. Consequences Creed has got to make sure he doesn't put himself out too quickly in this match, Mike, just because he's so fired up. Absolutely have to agree with you, Don. At the same time, he's got to make Kane is focused on the task at hand, and that is the X Division Championship belt. Sure, feed off the crowd. No question about that. Use the crowd to your advantage if you really need to. If you must, consequences creed P.D. Williams here for the X Division title. One thing you also got to be aware of, especially if your consequences creed, is if somehow you find yourself on the wrong end of the Canadian Destroyer, well, you don't get up from it. That's something you can just pretty much guarantee. So he's got to make sure he doesn't screw up and find himself in that right now. Nice start. I like how he landed right there on the hand of Petey Williams. Immediately goes for the cover, but Petey Williams able to power out. Going to take him up to his shoulders now. Petey able to roll through, however, and catch him with the arm drag on Creed. Here comes the Canadian Destroyer way too early. Well, you can even feel the crowd's anticipation level. They know it's just something so exciting when he does hit it. Rocka Khan looking on intently, looking for an opportunity. She's just kind of watching things right now with Petey, seeing how he's reacting. And I like what Petey Williams is doing. He's he's just gauging consequences Creed. He's not getting himself too up, too down. He's just kind of trying to pick his own pace, Mike. You've been talking about the Canadian Destroyer, that flip pile driver as we see Creed take him high overhead with the press slam and then driving both knees right into the gut of Maple Leaf Muscle, Petey Williams at the same time. Petey Williams has to be looking out for the pre-DT of Consequences Creed, oh. who just goes airborne. I don't know, did he get enough height on that? I, I, thought he, I thought he caught his back on the apron. He caught the back of his head on the apron, but look at him. He's getting up, and he's letting the crowd know he's okay. He was trying to be a, so smooth and glide over the top. Shows you how dangerous a high-risk move like that can be as you see him catch that head on the ring apron. But let me tell you something, when you're in the kind of physical condition that Consequences Creed is in, you can sustain something like that and come back from him. Now, Petey Williams, he senses that he's injured. He senses the Consequences Creed's hurting more than he's letting on. He attacked right at it, went at the vulnerable point right there. And Raka Khan, referee distracted, she makes sure she gets a shot in. And right now, Consequences Creed is in trouble. And Petey Williams can smell it, and it can happen that quickly. A move that should have kept the momentum going for Consequences Creed as he leaked over the top rope. Catching his head on that ring apron, and Petey Williams now 
is dictating everything. One, two. Close, constant with his trade. He's got to find a way. You can see him still holding the back of that, that head. You wonder how bad he's hurt. You hope it's not nothing too severe. But he's going to have to fight through the pain, Mike, today and just keep going. Creed fighting from the mat. Series of shots, the rights, the lefts. Got Petey backing up momentarily, measures it. Shots with the lefts, right on the point of the jaw. Going to wind up for a big right, does the splits, but he's done that before. He telegraphed the move, and Petey Williams made him pay for it. Well, you know Petey Williams scouted this opponent. He watched as much tape of that defeat that he had at the hands of Consequences Creed. He knows Consequences Creed likes to use a little flash. This is some things to pick up the crowd. He was waiting for that one, Mike. He was waiting for it, and he was ready. Crowd here in Trenton, behind the reigning champion, at least at this point, behind P.D. Williams. He just overpowers Creed into the corner. Jackson with a big right. Gonna try and send him across now, and Creed slides through. Good move out to the floor, but then Petey's right on him. Another drop kick. This one's directed to the legs. How about how quickly Petey closed the gap? Look at him now, over the top. Nails the Hurricane Rana. Perfectly placed, and I like how he did it, where he just kind of a little extra oop there on that neck, and you can see Consequences Creed laying down and in pain. We gotta see a replay of that if we can. Look at how he hits this, and then there, a little extra motion, and he jerks that knee, he jerks that neck right over on Consequences Creed. Absolutely flawless execution from the slingshot move right into that great Hurricane Rana out on the floor, and Petey Williams is in control in this matchup, and sort of a surprise the way the fans are responding here. Creed gonna try and fight back. Quick double leg, gonna go for the roll-up, gets a count of two only. Well, I think Consequences Creed's gonna have that early on like this because he's not known as much in a lot of places. Petey Williams, nice hesitation drop kick, kind of a a la Chris Saban there, and nails him on the back. But Petey Williams is feeding off this crowd. For some reason, he can hear it, he knows it. They seem to be behind him in a big bulk, and he's feeding off of it, and Consequences Creed, he's gotta tune all that out. And then you see the pose down by P.D. Williams emulating his mentor, Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Rake of the eyes by P.D. Williams as Creed now you can see trying to fight back, but his, his vision has been impaired by the rake of the eyes by P.D. Williams and no luck with those shots from Creed. No, he's just throwing haymakers hoping he can catch something and turn it around. Oh, I'll tell you what, that'll turn it around in a hurry as he hit that flush. I mean this. This super kick that he lays on Petey Williams almost takes his head off. And you can see Consequences Creed, he knows it. This is his chance to turn this thing around. Both champion and challenger down. Petey Williams actually up to his feet. The champ up at about four or five. Creed still down and Petey right on it. Forearm shot, but Creed answers with one of his own. Well, Consequences Creed now is willing to trade off and just take shot for shot. He feels he might have a strength advantage. I wouldn't say that when it comes to Petey Williams. He's a workout freak. We know that. Now look at him. They're just throwing forearm shivers. One shot after another. And look at Creed. He feels it. He's got a couple in a row. Shot off into the corner. Here comes Petey. Caught him with that lariat. But then Creed comes right back and drops him with the left arm. Then the point of the elbow on target. Creed again to the offense. Now he's got the champ reeling. Well, he used that speed to shorten the ring, shorten it to his advantage. Kind of going after Petey in his own game, a power game at this point. And Petey now takes a wild swing and misses. And Creed, and look at that, jumped up on top of the ropes and just took that head and boom, hung it right down in the mat. Springboard into the face plant is right. Creed on fire after the shots, drops down, and oh man, did he just catch him with a knockout blow. Here we go, here's the pin, two. here's two, no, two only shoulder up. I'll tell you what though, you know P.D. Williams' bell is wrong when he just got his face planted that hard. I mean, it was just unbelievable torque that Consequences Creed was able to get off of that top rope and drive it down into the mat. See now Petey Williams turning around and look at this. Just spins around and he goes into that side rushing leg sweep and he nails it. Motions to the crowd. It could be time for the flip pile driver. Could be time for the Canadian destroyer. Creed slowly back up to the vertical base. Doubles him over with the boot. Here, Here it comes. comes. 
Can he hit it? No. Oh, he couldn't quite turn it around, but I'll tell you what, he doesn't stop. He goes right into it, spin kicks, and then uses that jawbreaker. But look at Creed! Just springs up like it was nothing. Nice comeback move by Creed, taking advantage of the situation. Caught Petey completely unaware. Watch Creed measure, gonna charge at Petey, but Petey outside in with the shoulder block. Petey Williams now looking at it, goes right over top and right onto the shoulders. And consequences Creed showing that strength. But look at Petey, he just powers him down. Oh, it was close. Real close. Wow. Now Creed gonna try the backslide this time. Shoulders of Petey down for barely two. Quick reversal here, and you see Creed, nice agility to land on his feet, missed with the clothesline, did not miss with that kick. Caught him right in the back of the head. This is a great opportunity now as Consequences Creed takes him up again and again, showing that strength as he's, oh, look! Petey Williams able to turn it around, and here it is! Going for that sharpshooter! Oh, he's got it, sharpshooter applied. Look at the ring positioning. Dead center, right in the middle of the six-sided ring. What's Consequences Creed gonna do? Is he gonna tap? He's fighting off the pain right now. He's just in a very bad spot, and he's right in the middle like you pointed out. Look at him, just trying to use that strength to get to the ropes. I mean, that's just digging down deep, giving everything you've got. And look at how Petey grabbed the arm to keep him from grabbing that rope, and look at him oh, fighting so through close. it. And he gets he away, and finally he's able to reach out and grab the bottom rope and get the break. Petey Williams, you can see him trying to get to his feet. Consequences Creed has got to be an unbelievable pain as Petey just had that cinched in and just pulled back on the back. And Consequences Creed, you can just see him. It's, it's like the energy is just leaving him as he's having a hard time even getting to his feet. And now Petey Williams is taunting him. Oh. Knife edge chop, drilled him right in the chest, and it's almost as if Creed wants to feed off of these chops, but Petey drills him again. Creed just said, you can, you can hear it. He said, come on, bring it on. Look at that, he's just, he's like he's using Petey Williams right now and, and using it to psych himself up, and Petey just starts raining blows on the head, but look at his consequences. Creed gets to his feet, takes another shot, but he's feeding off of it, Mike. He's feeding off of it. Look at this. There's the release suplex by Creed. Petey in trouble in the corner. Here comes the challenger, goes airborne, drops down to the big shot, and then how about that knee up into the face? Well, he just brought that knee in. Oh, there's the Creed ET. The Creed ET, here it is. Can he finish him off? He wants to do it in grand fashion. He wants to win that X Division title with something spectacular. And here he goes to the top row. Look at him just savoring the moment. And he hits the leg drop. Can he finish it, Mike? Here's the cover! Legs hooked! There's two. two! Oh, man! No way! Look at Raka Khan up on the ring apron. Obvious concern on her part. What is she doing in the ring now? Well, she's trying to give Petey Williams some time to catch his breath, some time to get his composure. She takes that big shot and look at him. He takes it right up and she wants to get in there with a the big boy. Then he's gonna deal the punishment on her and he does. Knockout blow from Consequences Creed on Raka Khan. But you're right, boy, what an opportunity for Petey Williams to get the tank bill. Here it comes. Oh, again though, Consequences Creed ready for it. Puts it right there and just kind of, that's what he two, got it. No! Oh. Unreal. I thought he had him, I thought he had him stitched in. It was the way he won it the last match. He had it against Petey Williams that exact same way. But now what? Oh. Now what's this all about? Sheik Abdul Bashir coming down the ramp. Boy, we've seen him on impact in recent weeks, Don West with his anti-American rant. He's picked up a steel chair. Well, there's no point for him to be here. He's just got all oh, oh. at the shot on the back of Consequences Creed. And he just injected himself into this match for no reason whatsoever. And now here comes the Canadian Destroyer, Mike. He's got it, and he hits it. Unbelievable. Creed, no way. It is done. Here's your winner, still champion, Maple Leaf Bustle, Petey Williams. First, the interference by Raka Khan. 
then the blatant move with the steel chair shot by Sheik Abdul Bashir. It enables Petey Williams, Maple Leaf Muscle, to hit his patented finishing move, that sick flip pile driver, the Canadian Destroyer, and Petey Williams remains X Division champ.